If you are someone who struggles with staying healthy, is always on the go, and find it hard to get in some good old healthy fuel, then keep watching. Hey, it's Sandra, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be sharing what I ate this past Saturday while I was out on the road working. I know for many, busy schedules and work that requires being on the road can make it pretty challenging to stay healthy. So I thought I would share some ideas of what I would normally eat on a busy schedule or when I'm on the road myself. I'll be taking you throughout the day from beginning to end so you can see how I make healthy work for me and hopefully inspire you to make it work for you as well. Before I get started on my morning routine, I start by taking care of this little guy first. I start by giving him his supplements, which he loves and runs around the apartment in anticipation. It's actually funny to see. After refreshing his water, I feed him his greens, which he looks forward to chomping on. His little jaws go about a mile a minute. It's so cute. This little guy has my heart. And for the grand finale, I give him his most desired treat, banana. He loves fruit in general, but bananas, they are his ultimate fave and will binky run, jump, and salivate at the sound and smell of it coming. I swear he's got a bionic nose. <laughs> For me, today's start was with a fresh squeezed citrus juice, which I have been wanting to make and so glad I did because it was so refreshing. Citrus juices are a perfect blend of energy, sweetness, nutrients, and fiber all in one. They're not fully stripped of their fiber, so the final product always retains some of the fiber, which makes for a perfect juice drink and is diabetic friendly. If you look closely, you'll notice the pieces of fruit in my juice. I never strain my citrus juice for this purpose. I like to maximize on the valuable nutrients citrus fruit provides, especially during vulnerable times like, um, a pandemic perhaps? After I spent some time out on my balcony drinking my juice and meditating, I jumped on my computer to check and answer emails, engage in my online social groups, and support my fellow vegan and lifestyle YouTubers. I also have a project I'm working on which I'm so excited about and will make public once the details come together. I can't wait. In today's morning smoothie, I added into my Vitamix blender about an ounce of aloe vera, half a scoop Garden of Life raw vanilla protein half a pineapple, one apple, about a quarter cup of frozen passion fruit, approximately one cup of frozen pitaya, and a quarter to a half cup coconut water, depending on your desired consistency. This is an easy, nutritious, and delicious smoothie anyone can make and enjoy. It's like having a tropical fiesta in your mouth. at home now and I'm gonna go grab something to eat. It is now 1.46, so close to 2 o'clock. That's about right. Usually I go home around 1.30, 2 o'clock. So I'm gonna grab something to eat and then I'm gonna head back out into Charlotte so I can do some work down there. And I'll probably grab something to eat down there. We'll see what I decide. One thing I don't do is deprive myself. So when people think the raw vegan lifestyle is depriving, it isn't. You know, you deprive yourself of what you want to deprive yourself of. If you feel like eating something, eat it. It is what it is. I mean, just do it. There's no need to restrict yourself because it's not restrictive. It's not a strict diet. It's a lifestyle. And yes, sometimes you're not going to eat everything perfect and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. So I may decide I want something cooked. That's all right. 
I don't always eat cooked, but I'll tell you what, when I do eat something cooked, I feel it. And it takes me a long time before eating another cooked meal again. So really, your body tells you what you want. And your body will notify you, hey, don't give me this crap anymore. You just listen to it. Do what you want to do and just listen to your body. That's the most important thing. As long as you listen to your body, you got it going on. So for lunch, I decided to have a green smoothie. It's quick, easy, healthy, and yummy. Plus, it's filling and it'll hold me over for a good while. In it, I added half a cucumber, two kale leaves with stems, two pitted medjool dates for sweetener, one avocado, four bananas, a cup of pistachio nut milk, and two tablespoons of cacao powder. I blended it all up and then stopped to add in two tablespoons of cacao nibs. I add these in last because I don't like to fully ground them. I like to use them as chocolate chips and they go well in my green smoothies. I decided to make watermelon juice to take with me. I had a mini watermelon there that I hadn't used, so I figured why not? Because I can. And because it's pretty warm out today, and I thought why not? I'll probably be thirsty, it'll be a nice thirst quencher on the road, so. But I put it into a jar this time instead of the other one because whenever you make a juice or anything you're going to haul with you and you're not going to drink right away, I always suggest putting it into an airtight container. My preference is the mason jars because these have an airtight lid on it. If you put it into a blender bottle or something like that, air is prone to get in it and could potentially subject it to bacteria. So you don't want to do that. So airtight mason jar is what you want to get. So I'm going to take this with me and I'm going to put it into, I know this is big, but this is all I've got right now. So as you can see, it's pretty big and there's a lot of room in there so if I decide I want to stick anything else in there I can but for now this works and that is how I'm going to haul my watermelon juice big old cooler for one jug of juice <laughs> let's head into Charlotte So I finally got a chance to pull over and drink my watermelon juice, which is still cold by the way. Yum, so good. It's a beautiful night and um, yeah, so cheers. So that's it. Keep in mind that what I eat in a day will vary depending on where I'm at, what I'm doing and what I have at home. Although I will say that I am a daily shopper, so if I don't have the ingredients to make what I want, I'll make it a point to stop at the store to pick them up. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if you want to see more of these what I eat in a day type videos. For more tips, tricks, recipes, inspiration, and more on how to live a healthier lifestyle, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for more videos to come. Also, be sure to click the bell right next to the subscribe button so that you can be notified each week when a new video has been uploaded. Until the next one, stay safe, be well, be kind, and keep aligning with your best self.